Sin Sang So Hemolytic Anemia in Children Sign of Anemia Polar Fatigue Hemolysis Jaundice Pigmented Gallstones Planum Macaulay Hemoglobinuria Signs of Anemia Fatigue Polar Exertional Dyspnea Tachycardia Angina Signs of Hemolysis Jaundice Gallstones Planum Macaulay Back Pain Dark urine signs of increased hematopoiesis. In beta salt thalassemia, classic hair on end on score on x ray. It's caused by breakdown of RBC, S of anemia, polar, but to exertional dyspnea, tachycardia, S of hemolysis, jaundice, pigmented, garstones, polyanomaboli, dark urine due to hemoglobinuria. Hemolytic anemia occurs when red blood cells are destroyed faster than the bone marrow can produce them. This condition can be inherited, such as an in inheritory spiritocytosis or sickle cell anemia, or acquired due to infectious autoimmune diseases, certain medications, or exposure to toxic substances. Symptoms of hemolytic anemia in children can vary depending on the cause, severity, and whether the onset is acute or chronic, but generally include the pallor, pale skin. Lips and nail beds indicating reduced hemoglobin levels and decreased oxygen carrying capacity. Fatigue and weakness due to lower oxygen delivery to the body's tissue. Children may tire easily and seem less energetic or allergic. Jaundice, yellowing of the skin, and the whites of the eyes clear out due to an increase in bilirubin, a byproduct of red blood cell breakdown. Dark green urine may appear dark or tea colored due to the presence of bilirubin or hemoglobin. Splenomedally enlargedly. The spleen may enlarge due to its role in filtering and break down the excess red blood cell. Shortness of breath, children may experience difficulty breathing or increase respiratory rate due to reduced oxygen levels in the blood. Rapid heart rate, tachycardia, the heart may beat faster in an effort to deliver enough oxygen to the body's tissue. Dizziness or lightheadedness may occur due to reduced oxygen supply to the brain, headache, a common symptom also related to decreased oxygen delivery to the brain, chills and fevers, particularly if the hemolytic anemia is due to an infection or autoimmune response, abdominal pain can be caused by a large discipline or liver, or in the case of sickle cell anemia via vessel occlusive crisis. A leg ulcer is more common in specific types of hemolytic anemia, such as sickle cell anemia. Garstones may develop due to increase breakdown of RBC, uh, leading to an excess of blurry. In children, the symptoms of hemolytic anemia might also affect growth and development, and in severe cases lead to failure, heart failure, or other life-threatening complications. It's important to identify and treat the underlying cause of hemolytic anemia. Treatment options may include medications, blood transfusion, and plasma paresis. In case of immune-mediated hemolytic anemia, or in some cases, surgical intervention like splenomegalomy, ongoing monitoring and supportive care are essential to manage the conditions effectively and minimize complications. So, symptoms of hemolytic anemia in children, signs of anemia, polar, fatigue, signs of hemolysis, jaundice, augmented gallstones, splenomegaly, hemoglobinuria, Signs of anemia, fatigue, polar, exertion, and dyspnea, tachycardia, angina, hemolysis, jaundice, garstones, splenomegaly, back pain, dark urine, increased hematopoiesis, beta cells, thalassemia, hair on the end, score on x-ray, RBC breakdown, uh, polar, fatigue, exertion, and dyspnea, tachycardia, hemolysis, jaundice, pigmented gallstones, splenomegaly, dark urine due to hemoglobinuria, hemolytic anemia, of course, red blood cells are destroying faster to than the bone marrow can produce them. Color, fatigue, weakness, jaundice, dark urine, splenomegaly, shortness of breath, rapid heart rate, dizziness or lightheadedness, headache, chills and fever, abdominal pain, leg or sir, gar stones. Uh, growth might affect uh, growth and development, severe cases lead to heart failure or like threatening complications. Treat the underlying uh, causes, uh, blood transfusion, plasma paresis, include medication, surgical intervention like splenotomy.